Welcome to English course. With Emmy, learn adverbs of place with useful examples. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English language lesson. Today's topic is adverbs of place. They give us information about the location of an action, an event or a thing. Adverbs of place tell us where something happens or where something is located. In this video, we will discuss the types, functions, and examples of adverbs of place. Some common examples of adverbs of place include here, there, everywhere, nowhere, inside, outside, and upstairs. 1. Near. He was sitting near the window. 2. Far. The bus station is far from here. 3. Abroad. She went abroad to study. 4. Inside. The dog is inside the house. 5. Outside. The children are playing outside. 6. Upstairs. She went upstairs to her room. 7. Downstairs. He went downstairs to the living room. 8. Behind. The car is parked behind the building. 9. Above. The helicopter is flying above the city. 10. Below. The fish are swimming below the surface of the water. 11. Beyond. The park is beyond the bridge. 12. Hereabouts. There's a great restaurant hereabouts. 13. Somewhere. The book must be somewhere in the library. 14. Everywhere. The children's toys were scattered everywhere. 15. Nowhere. The lost keys were nowhere to be found. 16. Ahead. The finish line is just ahead. 17. Sideways. The car was parked sideways in the driveway. 18. Inwards. The arrow pointed inwards towards the center. 19. Outwards. The door swung outwards to reveal the garden. 20. Underground. The subway train runs underground through the city. 21. Northward. They traveled northward towards the mountains. 22. Southward. The storm was moving southward towards the coast. 23. Westward. They set off on a journey westward. 24. Eastward. The sun rises in the eastward direction. 25. Herein. The answer lies here in this book. 26. Therein. The solution to the problem is there in the report. 27. Whereabouts. The lost wallet was found whereabouts of the park. 28. Hither. Come hither to see the beautiful sunset. 29. Thither. She pointed thither to show the way. 30. Whither. Whither are you heading for your vacation? Adverbs of place can be divided into three categories. Simple adverbs, compound adverbs, and interrogative adverbs. Simple adverbs of place are single word adverbs that describe where an action or event takes place. Compound adverbs of place are formed by adding prepositions to simple adverbs. Examples of compound adverbs of place include up there, down here, out there, in here, over there. These adverbs provide more specific information about the location of something. Interrogative adverbs of place are used to ask questions about the location of something. Examples of interrogative adverbs of place include where, whither, whence, where from. These adverbs are used to ask questions such as where is the library or where did you come from. Now let's move on to the functions of adverbs of place. Adverbs of place can be used to modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. When used with verbs, adverbs of place describe where an action takes place. For example, he is sitting inside the room. Adverbs of place can also be used to modify adjectives. For example, the cat is sitting on the tall tree. Here, tall, is the adjective being modified by the adverb, on. Finally, adverbs of place can modify other adverbs, indicating the location of the action described by the modified adverb. 
For example, he ran quickly up the stairs. Here, up, is the adverb of place modifying the adverb, quickly. Examples of adverbs of place include, here, which tells us about a location near the speaker, there, which tells us about a location away from the speaker, and, everywhere, which indicates a location that is present in all places. Another example is, above, which refers to a higher position, and, below, which refers to a lower position. That's all for today's lesson on adverbs of place. We have discussed the types, functions, and examples of adverbs of place. Remember, adverbs of place provide important information about the location of an action, an event, or a thing. It is important to use them correctly in order to communicate effectively in English. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to learn English grammar with Emmy. Download adverbs of place infographic below in the description box.